Good day everyone, you're watching Raytube. On today's video, I'm going to uh, walk you through step-by-step -step instruction on how to fix MSVCP140.dll uh, error message uh, whenever you're trying to install any application or whenever you're trying to open uh, application on Windows 10 machine. Now, there are a couple of steps which you need to follow in order to fix the problem. Now, in case if you have not liked this uh, or uh, subscribed to my channel, please click on the subscribe for more fixes and do not forget to hit the subscribe channel. Now, let's get started. In order to fix the problem, the first step what I would suggest you to do is to go ahead and download a Microsoft Visual C++ 2010 redistribu redistributable package uh, from the Microsoft website. I will um, mention the download link in the video description. Um, you will have to go ahead and download the setup and run the setup and follow the step-by-step -step instruction and um, restart the computer once the installation is complete and then try to launch any application and see if that works. In case if that doesn't work, the next step what you will have to do is you will have to open command prompt uh, window. Uh, in the search window, you will go ahead and you can go ahead and type CMD. Right click on command prompt. Uh, I directly opened it. Let me go ahead and uh, reopen it again right click on command prompt click on run as administrator in case if you get a user access control prompt click on yes or allow on the screen once you have the command prompt window open you will have to run sfc space forward slash scan now and hit enter so what this will do is uh, this will go ahead and repair the corrupted dll files uh, which are corrupted on your computer this is an instant repair now this process might take about 10 to 15 minutes it depends on the speed of your computer um, now once um, there are a couple of phases which you will uh, which uh, where the repair would run once this is complete the next thing uh, what you will have to do is you will have to go ahead and restart the computer again uh, once you restart the computer um, you can go ahead and uh, try to launch the uh, applications uh, for, or try to install the application for whichever application you were getting the error message this should fix a problem i hope this uh, i hope this video was useful for you guys in case if you like this video please do not uh, forget to subscribe to my channel and also hit the like button and in case if you need any assistance leave me a comment in the comment section i will get back to you with the uh, necessary uh, resolution steps Thank you for watching. You have a great day.